Hello and welcome to this video on linear regression where we would be discussing the assumptions that are made for linear regression to work. So the first and foremost is uh, very straightforward as far as linear regression is concerned. We would be looking at a linear relationship between our independent and dependent variables. So we could say our two variables, or we could just call them as independent and dependent variables. should have a linear relationship. Or in other words, the linear relationship is able to explain how X and Y are related. So Y is equal to MX plus C. Now it's, it's quite understood that when we look at this line, it uh, doesn't quite cover all the points so we have something that is uh, close enough as in what a linear line gives us that this becomes our uh, intercept C and our slope value would be slope value would be M. So that line defines the linear relationship between X and Y. Right. Uh, we could say the second assumption that we would make would be quite dependent on the first one. And that is to say, our residuals which is nothing but the error, we can call them as uh, y actual minus y predicted. Also variously known as yi minus y hat. Uh, residuals for each and every data point, right? Each and every data point has a corresponding approximation onto this linear line, which becomes the predicted value. So this has an actual Y value and it has a corresponding predicted value. And this difference between Y actual and my Y predicted becomes the residual. All these residuals <clears throat> should follow a normal distribution, which is to say when we draw a scatter plot like this one, we cannot be having too many outliers. Most of them are converging towards the, towards the best fit line that has been drawn, y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, our residuals are more or less converging towards the mean value, which is to say the mean value of that residual is basically close to zero. So that's our second assumption. Third would be a little or no multicollinearity, which is to say our independent features should not have any strong correlation within X, <clears throat> right? And X assuming that you have multiple X variables, X1, X2, X3, and so on. So for us to say that there is no strong correlation between any of the independent variables, 
they're basically able to state this. If we have a tolerance which is pretty low, uh, or rather actually tolerance needs to be beyond a certain limit. Okay, We say T is less than tolerance T. If it's less than 0 0.01, Okay, that is denotes presence of multicollinearity. And uh, similarly, if we were to give an equivalent of the tolerance, it would be the variance inflation factor. VIF, and we say T should not be less than 0 0.01. Okay, similarly, VIF should not be greater than 10. Okay, that once again is denoting that there is multicollinearity present. <clears throat> uh, another observation would be that our op all our variables are, all our observations are independent of each other. Each other, something that tends to be taken for granted at times, but we need to have each observation as an independent observation, uh, which is to say there is no autocorrelation among the variables. So those are our key assumptions for linear regression. Lack of multicollinearity, lack of autocorrelation, the residuals following a normal distribution, and there being a linear relationship between our independent and dependent variables.